but it's not you're married not me i'm not married i'm single i'm young i'm lit i'm sexy like i be doing me why do i that's weird i must do my hair right now. and it sounds like you tell him that too when you argue yeah you do tell, um, tell him that he'd be like yeah you right you right you right just let me fall back but then he'll hit me up in a couple days when he needs something because you can't find better than me. I know you can't. Or else you'd be with your wife with diabetes with one foot. Obviously. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. With another episode of Foolery. Okay. So we're going to jump around on this young lady here. This young lady got a sugar daddy. But she made the biggest mistakes you could ever make when y'all are playing that game. You fell in love with your sugar daddy. And now you don't know what to do. But y'all got to hear this. This, this is the dumbest stuff I ever heard from this woman. I don't think y'all know how to play the game. But you can't be like you all about it. And don't even realize what you done did. You the side chick now. You're not his sugar mama. You the side chick. But y'all got to see this, man. But y'all know what to do before we kick it off. Go ahead and hit that subscribe, that like, share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to get the next video. Always hit all on it. Let's make that happen. All right. So let's jump right into this, man. I fell in love with my sugar daddy. Damn. Okay, I'm getting ready right now. I'm doing my makeup. I just had a quick question for you. I gotta unplug my phone so I can set it up. Um, I'm going to a birthday dinner, but it's like at a nice bougie restaurant. But everybody there is bringing like their boyfriend. I'm gonna be like one of the only two girls that are not bringing nobody. But that has nothing to do with my question. My question was, I've had a sugar daddy who does a lot for me, and it's been like three years now, but. He's overly jealous. Like he's going through my phone when I'm not there. Like I don't know what to do with that. And yeah, he does a lot, but when is the time? That's my sugar daddy. That feels like boyfriend. That feel like boyfriend energy, and I've never said we're together. Like that's so weird. And he, sorry, my phone was. But he does. I just don't know when the time is to like cut him off and get a new one. Because now I'm just feeling like if I want to be in a toxic toxic relationship, I would have been in that already. Like. But the thing is, this is what I'm feeling, Jai. You must have gave him that impression that y'all kind of do relationship change for him to feel comfortable enough to be toxic, if that makes sense. I'm not going to lie. I have, like, we go out to eat, we hold hands, we say I love you, but he pays the rent. He bought my car. He done did so much. So, yeah, I'm going to play that role, but it's never been that. It's not let him know, like, I'm still going to work at the club. I'm still going to do me, but. So, you ain't never said, baby, I love you a little bit. Why y'all was pillow talking? You I want y'all to just listen to this crap, man. Just listen to what this girl's saying. She's saying this man pay all the bills. He pay for a car. He doing all this stuff. And now you upset that he's checking up on you. What did you think was going to happen? You think this man's going to pay your bills and do all this stuff just so you can go and give it away to somebody else? And then you act like you don't want to be in a relationship. Somebody's going to be toxic and all this. You're already there. You just said your friends are going to a, a nice restaurant, a meetup, whatever they're going to do. Everybody's coupled up except you. Now, why is since you want to do what you want to do, why you didn't show up with another person? Because you're falling. I mean, you're getting feelings for the sugar daddy. And Sugar Dad already got you locked down. You don't even realize it. I have. I have. I'm not going to lie. I have. But when, why did you feel comfortable? That's your man. That's your man. That's not my man. It's not. He's still legally married. And he, yeah. That's not my man. The wife, what do you do? The wife is missing a foot. He take care of her. And she's staying in the own separate room. So it's not my man, but... What Why do you, he feel, what do you huh? want to do, Jai? What decision do you want to make? Do you want to leave or do you want to stay? I don't want to leave. I'm going to stay. Yeah, I'm going to stay. So what's your question? 
I guess. How do I get him to stop tripping so much, but still get what I need? What the? What the? Um, at this point, he probably feels like he's entitled to trip because he. Oh he my goodness! What I was said too, but yeah, he feels entitled. Like I don't gotta. You want me to change? I'm paying bills, buying cars, making sure you good. I don't gotta do anything. You change. I'm not changing. I could get like another two of you though, but like what? I guess it makes sense what you're saying. Yeah, he said, "Why didn't you get them yet? Why you still here with me if you could get another two? And I'll show him. Like we won't talk my thing and not needing him, not hitting him up. But I don't know what to do, honestly. I guess my question really was, what do I do? <laughs> like about it, because I still want it, but I don't want him to be like i don't want to worry about my phone like i'm changing passwords and stuff because you looking through it but it's not you're married not me <laughs> i'm not married i'm single i'm young i'm lit i'm sexy like i be doing me why do i that's weird i must do my hair right now man this woman sound like a spoiled brat now for you ladies out there thank y'all all what she say fine and lit and all that other crap when you come on social media and brag to the world about how well your sugar daddy or your man takes care of you, i.e. paying your bills, all your bills, buying you cars, making sure you dressed up, taking care of whatever you got going on, he's paying for it. You have just invited 15 million other women into your, your man's life. You think these women are not going to find out who is messing with this girl? They're going to find out. And they're going to be all in your man's stuff. You talking about he can't find another like you? He probably got a few of them like you. What are you talking about? And it sounds like you tell him that too when you argue. Yeah, you tell, him. you tell him that. And he'd be like, yeah, you right, you right, you right. Just let me fall back. But then he'll hit me up in a couple of days when he needs something. Because you can't find better than me. I know you can't. Or else you'll be with your wife with diabetes with one foot. Obviously. Yeah, I'm noticing something. She keep insulting the wife. Why do you keep insulting the wife? And see, it's something else with this. She's upset. And see, he probably already done put the brakes on her ass for right now. She done did something, he done put the brakes on her, and he ain't talking to her. So she done go on to social media now to vent a little bit. Because you keep attacking the wife. Why? It makes no sense. <laughs> And he's a clean freak too, so um, how old is he? Uh, he's 56. It, it sounds like you want to be the girlfriend and you wanted him to stay. And when y'all argue, you like, but you ain't getting better than me. And she don't look like me. And ain't nobody. Da, da, da. And yeah, so when is it going to happen? And I'll get another you in another day because I'm young, fly, and beautiful. And he like, okay, let me try. And then you have that toxic relationship. That's what that sounds like. Am I crazy? Do I sound crazy? The comment saying I sound crazy. <laughs> like, am I crazy for that? Uh, yes, 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 yes. The what? It's strictly sugar daddy, but you worrying about me? But you got so much other shit to worry about. You need to get here. Like, I sound crazy. My friend telling me I sound crazy. I'm tripping. Like, I guess I'm tripping then. There's nothing. Uh, I'm 26, but. You're young. You're young. A life is about learning. But again, it's up to you. What do you want to do? I want to still have him and have everything else. <laughs> but I can't have it like that, huh? No, I think you can, but you love him. So even if you try to go to someone else, you got feelings. So you're still going to come back because you love him. I love him and what he does for me and how he makes me feel. I don't love him as a person. If he died today. Yeah, of course you would have to move on, but you still care about him and love him. All right. All right. You, you telling me everything I already knew for real. So I feel like I'm wasting your time. I'm going to just let you move on. You telling me everything I already fucking knew for real. I just didn't want to admit. <sighs> when you're ready, you know, do it when you're ready. And I, uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste your time. Will you, yeah, you just tell me what I wanted to hear. Very beautiful. Well, All right. Updated, okay? Of course, bye.
Okay, part two. My makeup is done. Have a look. It's not too much. I might put some on the bottom right there. Should I do bottom eyeliner? You look beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I wanted you to judge my outfit too. I got two fits I want to wear tonight. But I feel like people need more backstory. It was never about the wife. It was about we've been together three years and you're going through my phone knowing you're married and you're taking care of your wife physically, emotionally, financially. They've been separated for a minute. But she, yeah. It's not about the wife. I. It's never about the wife. It's... Why do you feel comfortable going through my phone knowing like you have a lot more going on than me? Like, I don't know. And people are like, why are you attacking the wife? I wish the best on the wife. I want them to stay married. She got like two life insurances. And yeah, I want them to stay married. But, uh, yeah, it's not it's not about the wife. See, other people has picked it up also. She um, attacking a wife. I don't know why. But her age is showing now. So she sounds like a little spoiled brat. That done fell in love with this dude. And now you trying to steal like you got game on him and you don't. He control everything about you right now. And you talking like you're going to dump him. But he's paying for everything you have going on. That's why your friend's saying you stupid. You on here. And he might be trying to cut your ass loose because you done came on here and trying to expose him. And you done talk shit about his wife. So... You're setting yourself up to be dumped and him pick up another little 26 year old. Mess around, go pick up one of your friends. Why you think you all fly and, and all this other shit? You a dime a dozen, young lady. A dime a dozen. If that man can afford to take care of all this stuff, you think he can't buy another 26 year old little cute girl? Come on. Better get out your feelings. Your ass be out here by yourself. But I want you to judge my outfit. Real quick, real quick. I know it's not fashion. Wait, it's for us. Not, uh, my phone's about to go. It's not Fashion Friday, but oh, I got ooh, ooh. for dinner. Okay, body. Body on the outside and under. All and right. then I got this Love one. It. It's like a leather jacket, but it's a dress. And it's... It's tying a zip right here. It's a leather dress what jacket. Kind of what kind of shoe? That's what I'm stuck on. Cause either one need a black heel, and all I have for a black heel is I ain't got no black heels. I got this, but I always wear these. I already have an Instagram picture in these. Now, Josh, Josh, you got sugar daddy, and we don't got black heels. What's going on? I've been. I have a small closet and I don't like uh, I don't like hoarding, so I throw everything away or I give it away. But my black heels, for the black heels, it's either this one or a black boot that looks just like this. Black boot that looks just yeah. like this. Yeah, the sneaker, the the sock heel in black. That could work with the leather dress. With the leather dress is better for the birthday dinner. I'm not trying to show the birthday girl up. Yes. And then the back was cute too. Ja, ooh, ja, you not trying to show the birthday girl up. You gonna come in that sexy number with the body. No, she wanna... Is it just me? Or that dress would be a little inappropriate for the occasion. You said earlier that you were going to a birthday dinner at an upscale bougie restaurant. And you're gonna wear a dress that outlines your breast and your areas and your back and your butt and all this i don't know is it me no it can't be me because i know what nice is when you go out to upscale places you don't wear no shit like that no you don't wear that you take that off it's but then again why why do y'all wear stuff that's so weird revealing if you got a nice body you just need to wear something nice your body show it off. You guys trying to make everything else show off your body. Y'all ass backwards, man. That don't make no sense. If I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. What I mean, what y'all think? Hit me in the comments. Let, let me know what y'all think about this anyway. Um, all this stuff. Y'all just let me know. Let me know. This is this is a lot to me. This is weird as shit, man. This Dress 
All right. I want to give a little bit more backstory on the sugar daddy, though, too. Like, he's always been weird. We went on vacation together, which I know you should never do, is go on vacation together. We went on vacation together because he had a funeral to go to, and he's like, pick whatever hotel you want. It was in Beverly Hills. It was like 2009, whatever. The bathroom door got a sliding glass door to it, so it's see-through to the bathroom, and I think he's asleep. He's in the bed. He's asleep. I'm taking a shower. Why am I going through his phone the next day? His videos of me in the shower. Yeah. So yeah. Let me ask you, that. how much have you been drinking? Only a couple of shots. Okay. Because I don't want you saying something on here. You know, just out of the love for you, I don't want you saying nothing on here because you've been having a couple of drinks. Yeah, I know. It, he is blocked on all these accounts. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I don't want to say nothing either. I'm, maybe I should get off. Yeah, I want you to come back when you're good, you're sober, okay? I will, I'll be back. Yes, Jai, come on. See, I knew it was something. She was in her feelings. I knew it. And now she didn't start drinking and went straight to what? Every time we get upset, we go straight to the internet and start telling all. But see, you you calling out key points. Beverly Hills, staying in a certain hot, somebody had passed away as a funeral. You're giving away little things about this man. That's why I actually shut it off. Like, you talking too much now. She's like, oh, you drink. She walk in there with a bottle of tequila, hitting it straight from the bottle. And then she turn around and say, I looked through his phone, and I seen myself taking a shower in there. Now, weren't you just complaining the whole time about him wanting to look through your phone? But you going through his phone and just so happen you see your damn self in there. She didn't say she saw somebody else. He recorded her. I mean, he paying for it. Maybe he wanted to look at it a little later when you ain't there. I don't know. But uh, Ashley saw what was going down and she cut you off real quick. Like, you're talking too much, little girl. Go sit down somewhere before you find yourself in a, in a bind. On back when you are sober, yes. I saw I saw the bottle, the alcohol bottle. So she's probably having a moment right now. But I don't want her to spill. You know, I don't I don't want to take advantage is what I'm saying. Like, me not here to tell your story for people's entertainment. So come back when um you know you you're in the right state of mind for sure. Uh, first off just shout out to Ashley Dalton and um, her page. Make sure y'all go follow. I'll put the link in there. Or you just follow Ashley Dalton. But uh, she has this portion of her show where you ask Ashley and people call in and getting advice and fashion advice. So, well, guys, that's all I got on this one. Y'all make sure y'all hit the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, share, and definitely don't forget that notification. Shout out to my uh, new subscribers from Germany, Great Britain, and some other places out over across that water. I appreciate your guys' support. Let's do this. Hit me up in the comments. Just let me know what city, state, or even country that you're from so I know where we at. All right? And with all that, it is your boy once again. Once again. Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace.